through Google Streams built-in data gen functionality. Now, what this means is we can generate data uh, from sample data that's already built in or from your own sample data. Uh, and this can be useful for when you're trying to troubleshoot destinations, making sure data can actually reach the destination. Uh, perhaps it's not practical or desirable to use uh, real data before perhaps proving out functionality. Um, so having a set of sample data that can be generated um, regularly with updated timestamps uh, can be very helpful in that regard. So let's get right to it. First, let's go to data and then the sources. I'm gonna filter this to system and, inter and internal and you'll see data gen here. Now, if I click add new, and I drop down this data generator file list, you'll see that there's a bunch of uh, built-in data generators. Uh, we'll keep it simple. We'll just go with syslog. Um, I'm gonna reduce the events per second per worker node down to one, just for this purpose. And I'll just give it a simple name of syslog. Okay. Now we'll commit and deploy this. And then we'll wait a few seconds. And here we go. We are generating a uh, sample, uh, somewhat nonsensical uh, syslog messages. And because Cribblestream understands syslog natively, we're already doing the extractions um, that are within a syslog header. Great. Another way to look at this would be under our monitoring. Now, if I go to monitoring and then data sources, uh, let's just filter this down and make it easy to see. You can see here that we do have some throughput, uh, you know, some number of events and bytes happening at the moment. So we, another way to tell that this is working. Okay. Now let's uh, go ahead and route that new data gem we just enabled to our Humio. Again, I'll filter on system and internal data gen and select existing. So you can see that our syslog data gen is there. We'll go ahead and say yes to switch to quick connect instead of routes. And then we'll simply drag and drop this syslog data gen to Humio. We're just going to pass it through. We're not going to do any pipelines or packs with this for now. Um, and if we wanted to, we could send this, send another uh, copy of this to wherever, DevNull, just for example's sake. Okay, we'll go ahead and commit and deploy this again. Great. Now I've got Humio running in another tab, and we'll just wait a few seconds to have that uh, data up here. And here we go. Same kind of nonsensical uh, sample syslog messages, um, but we can see how easy it was to basically configure a data gen so that we're just constantly generating some sample data uh, and then send it quickly to a destination. Okay, so let's try a different example where maybe we wanna use uh, real data, but again, we, maybe it's difficult to get a you know, data source to send to a stream. Um, maybe we don't wanna wait around for that. So let's just grab um, you know, a set of sample data and turn it into a data gen so that we can continue to, to play and prove things out. Um, so in this case, if I have a, um, set of sample data, I'm going to go over to pipelines just to access this sample data pane and I'll click paste. And here I've got, I've pasted in some Palo Alto network firewall, uh, syslog messages. 
uh, pretty simple. Um, you can see that uh, we're breaking on new lines. The, the red marker here indicates where the event breaker is happening. And the purple highlight shows the timestamp. So since this looks all accurate to me, uh, no custom changes needed, I'll go ahead and just name this um, datagen pan example. Okay. And you'll notice here, I could save this as a sample file or I could create a datagen file. So we'll, we'll create the datagen file. And now what you'll see is we're taking that timestamp and replacing it uh, with the current time. And this format should look familiar to uh, some of you where, um, you know, standard timestamp format, uh, we can kind of choose what the timestamp is going to look like when Kribble replaces it with the current time as it's generating these events with the data gen. Since this looks all correct to me, uh, we'll go ahead and just save as data gen file. Great. Now let's go back to our data sources, filter again on system and internal, open data gen and add new. Here we should see our data gen pan example log that we saved earlier. So I'll select that, bring this down to one. Actually, let's leave, let's keep it at 10. And we'll call this uh, pan example. And we'll click save. Now again, we'll have to commit and deploy. And we'll wait a second for that. And here we go. Okay. So now you can see we're generating a bunch of Palo logs uh, in its kind of native syslog format. Great. Now let's do what we did earlier and send this data over to Humio so we can take a look at it. Uh, so we'll add source under Quick Connect. Again, going to data gen and selecting existing. And we'll select this pan example. And we'll do the same thing as we did with the syslog example where we just click and drag and drop over to Humio, choosing the pass-through configuration. Hit save, and then we'll commit and deploy this again. Great. And we'll wait a minute for that. Uh, while we're waiting, actually, we could uh, grab a sample or you know, grab a sample within stream of that data gem we just created. Um, of course, we could also just paste that same set of data we did earlier and save it as a sample file instead. So just a little quick tidbit there. Okay, and here we go. We can see that Palo Alto traffic data coming into Hemio now. All right, that's the quick and dirty on data gens. Um, again, fairly useful. Uh, if you need to kind of create a live stream of sample data um, or just you know, testing basic, uh, doing basic troubleshooting on getting data to a destination from stream. Thanks for watching.